Hi everyone, Cayman Reynolds here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get the sugar syrup that we made in the five gallon bucket into another container so that you can readily use it quickly and without spillage in your colonies. So what we have over here in this top bucket is what's called a honey gate if you use it to bottle honey. Now we use this as an example, but we've also used these in drums. It doesn't really matter what size, 55 gallons, 30 gallon drums, but you can get these honey gates or bottler valves that you can get from usplastic.com for just a few bucks. So they're very inexpensive if you do it yourself. Pretty much all you have to do is drill the appropriate sized hole into the bucket or the barrel and then the gaskets and the bolts will screw down in, onto the metal or plastic and then you have yourself a gate that you can use. So depending on how much you need to make, you can uh, make your own for a very, uh, a very inexpensive amount of money. To purchase a, a setup like this from a beekeeping supply where you wouldn't have to do any work, it's going to cost you around 30 bucks. So uh, you can save yourself quite a bit of uh, money and, and make multiple ones if you think that's necessary. And then why I like the gate um, for small scale feeding is you can use these little watering cans right here. But you, you just can't just get an old uh, generic watering can. You need something that you can pour easily and that is going to not spill um, out the top. It, and it also is handy to have something that holds a, a sizable amount that's not going to leak on you like a lot of the cheap ones do that don't last very long. So this one here is a Gerber Fisker. You can get them from Lowe's. You can also get them online. Um, you can get different sizes. And I really recommend the two and a half gallon models because if you're making a five gallon bucket, you can have two of them and uh, that takes care of the whole thing right there. And also it's just more efficient to have a, a bigger one. But you can get them in multiple sizes if you have uh, back problems and they're a little heavy. And the thing that I love about these is they pour very well and with any type of feeder, they work well. If you're filling up little quarts, you don't really need them um, because you can just pour the quarts right out of this honey gate and just you can just fill the quarts up out of that thing. But with, with these right here, you can use them on your hive top feeders, you can use them in frame feeders, division board feeders, pretty much anything. And like I said, you can fill up quarts with them as well. And with frame feeders and top feeders, it's easy after a while to just learn how to eyeball um, each individual colony's needs and just apply accordingly. So whether the colony needs no feed, half a gallon, a pint, a whole gallon, these things right here can really help you feed your colonies quickly and easily. So this honey gate right here, you can just take your bucket of feed that we made in the last video, pour it in the top, and then just start filling your containers, whether it's these or quarts or whatever it is underneath. And you can do this in a way that's not gonna spill your feed and you're going to do this in a way that is going to be able to help you speed up your feeding process and help you take care of your bees. Thanks for watching the video.